Well, I think one of the greatest gifts of the internet has been that there are things that are possible. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you've, you've met with the same people I do, that I met with somebody yesterday and he said, I really want to write a book, but I'm just terrified of that process. And we're often, we add these big rocks and hurdles before, in front of things that we've never done before. And so the internet, hopefully has shown a lot of people that you go, okay, John Acuff was able to build something and he's just a dude, like I, mm -hmm. I'm a dude, let me, let me try that. Or my friend launched a business and I think I can do it. And there's so many things in life that are so much easier once you've removed all the fear of, well, to be an author, you probably have to do 50,000 things and you know, do all, there's all these hurdles and you go, no, you just, you, you write a book and your first one will be your best one. And then, you know, unless you're like Harper Lee, um, and you might not be. Um, I don't know if you live next to Truman Capote. I don't know, cons conspiracy theory. But I started to think, okay, I think that we can try this. And I was around a lot of on other entrepreneurs. It's impossible to be around Dave Ramsey and not want to start something. I mean, he wrote a book about being an entrepreneur. And so being around it, I first got that idea, and then I started to have support from readers. You, know, you talk about platform and the importance of that. A lot of times they'll believe in you before you believe in you. Mm. And what a, what a gift that is. And so. so did you say it out loud? Like you had this idea, you're comparing yourself or you're seeing what's possible on the internet, you're around an entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial environment like Dave Ramsey. Mm -hmm. When was the first time you remember actually saying it out loud and saying, I, I think I want to do this? I still have a hard time. Do I you still, really? Yeah, I have a hard time admitting I'm an artist or that I'm an author. Like Jenny, Jenny and I have joked about that. It's still challenging to me because it's, it just feels like such a, I can't believe we're doing it. Mm. There's still moments where I go like, and it's working, like so far it's working. Now, I, granted it's new, but I think really we started to brainstorm and go, well, what, where do we want to be in 10 years? You know, who do we want to end up like, you mm -hmm. know? And there's a guy named Al Andrews who I know you mm -hmm. know, and he's somebody who's a sage in my life. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's, 20 years ahead of me and has built this really beautiful personal network of things he's done and people he's helped. And I thought, I kind of want to end up like Al someday. Mm. What are some of the things that if a guy like me wants to end up like that, that I would do? And so some of that is having the freedom to say yes to the things I want to say yes to and no to the things I want to say no to. And so you start to make that trade and go, okay, if security's over here and stability's over here, what are these other things and are they bigger than those things? And can, you know, can we even build, rebuild some of those things if we work hard enough on these other things? And Jenny and I did this um, like probably for six months of brainstorming exercise with note cards and we, we drew it all out. And, and my new book, Do Over, talks about that, about how do you do that when you need to make a decision, when you need to start over, if you will. And so I don't know that I ever said it definitively out loud because there were days when in the morning we'd have an idea and by the night we'd go, no, that'll never work. Really? You know, that'll never work. And so, we just talked about it a lot and to the point where we felt like it's risky. It's always going to be risky. Yeah. If you try to eliminate risk before you do something, you'll never do something. Yeah. Everything amazing has amazing risks. Like the best stories have the biggest dragons. Mm -hmm. You know, I always, I think I've tweeted before that cloudless skies make for boring sunsets. Mm. And so it's challenging right now. Like it's definitely hard, but it's worth it. Yeah. And it's fun.